Pisces Rising February 2021 is Extreme Hermit Alone Time Month of so much meditation or internal reflecting that it really does lead to creative breakthroughs through all of that insight. If you're excited to dive into what this February holds for you, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. This video is brought to you by my very own Modern Magic membership community. So in this community of astrology enthusiasts and like-minded cosmic individuals, it starts out at just $7.77 a month to gain exclusive content, early access to content, and cool perks, discounts, and knowing things, uh, knowing about cool things, gifts coming your way for this membership community. So if you want to join the discord of a growing several hundred of us that are coming together in astrology enthusiast world, make sure that you check out the membership community, community down below. They're the ones who get first dibs on my consultations and so far there have been none left because they take them all up um, before the general public. So if you want to get those opportunities, check that out below. Hi, I'm Erin. I am a professional astrologer, author, and entrepreneur. I combine ancient Hellenistic and modern psychological astrology techniques to provide grounded guidance. And if you have not yet seen your 2021 year ahead forecast, not too late to get a huge head start and see what the year ahead holds in store. So you can check that out. Uh, it'll be linked below or just find it on my channel as well. So we start on the first through the third with the sun in your Aquarius 12th house, squaring Mars in your Taurus third house. And this is indicating that a lot of emphasis on your inner world. So breaking poor habits or creating a new spiritual practice for the foreseeable future is at odds with a refusal to want to change your immediate day-to-day -day routine for information or news intake or your commuting and the people you're around. It's like you know that you need to upgrade your mental health and how you have a mindset around things, but your day-to-day -day routine is lagging a bit. So it's this, it's this lag basically where you're like, oh yeah, I changed my mindset, but I have to get my environment to reciprocate that. So I have to, you know, cut ties or change my routine or uh, reroute how I use my schedule. On the 5th through the 20th, Venus is joining Jupiter and Saturn in your Aquarius 12th house, squaring Uranus and Mars in your Taurus 3rd house. So I have a full video on the Great Conjunction down below around what Jupiter and Saturn together means for everyone collectively and uh, this new beginning of structured reality. Venus joining you there, um, that there is like, okay, I know I need to do a lot of internal overhaul and being responsible about my mental health, any addictions or dependencies I have, how I isolate and how I protect my energy. And Venus there is like, yeah, I am down to meditate alone in the forest. I am down to quit this cold turkey. I am down to take this trip alone and solo, you know, yoga retreat. I am down. I love alone time. It really is a month of loving alone time. But again, this is at odds with Uranus and Mars in your Taurus third, this volatile, shocking, very abrasive, innovative, but abrasive energy around siblings, neighbors, people that you live with, or your day-to-day -day, like living routine of like, I, I, I check social media at this time, I check the news at this time. There's a need to break free of the imprisonment of your surroundings or routine in order to have the new standard of mental health. And the whole month into the whole year, you will have Saturn and Aquarius squaring Uranus and Taurus. So this is taking your mental health and your uh, habits seriously, like overhauling your inner pipes basically against rebellion or not keeping up with a schedule that supports that. So that's the big dynamic is taking your inner world seriously and having your outer world either grow up or rebel as a result. On the 8th, there's a Sun-Mercury conjunction in your Aquarius 12th house, getting information, getting insight, gaining some clarity around um, your 12th house. So this is around the 8th could be a big, big download or like meditation insight where you're like, oh my god, I finally get it. Like I, I, I've i unlocked the code. Something makes sense. Um, because then on the 11th, there is a new moon in Aquarius. A huge, huge Aquarius. I mean, so much is in Aquarius. I have a full video on it down below. So many planets in Aquarius in your 12th house. A huge repo, overhaul, new beginning of mental health structures and spiritual practices in your life. It could also be that you're breaking... Actually, you wouldn't be watching this video if you were in a foreign prison, but if it feels like you're in a foreign prison, like you were in an environment that is not home and you're trapped, this could be a breaking free. This is a 
planning your exit strategy. This is the foundation. This is the how I'm going to get out of what doesn't feel supportive for the future. Then on the 13th, there's a Mercury Venus conjunction in your Aquarius 12th house. So getting good news from your inner practices, from your downloads, from your spirit guides, etc. Getting good news about a situation as well that you could be trapped in, like hospital or prison, or not that you might be in those, but like news from those places. Getting good news from spaces of isolation on the 13th. On the 27th, there's a full moon in Virgo in your seventh house of relationships and partnerships. So a chapter is ending, you're celebrating, there's a high point of unveiling all the work you've done in an interpersonal relationship. So this doesn't necessarily indicate a breakup. It could be just announcing that you're dating someone or some kind, something coming to light and breaking free with your relationship. And if you're not in a relationship, um, it could be like the closest friend or a business partner. If you have any thoughts, questions, comments coming up for you and your rising sign this month, make sure that you leave a comment down below so we can discuss and um, see what all of us are going through for this upcoming February. Now a tarot card for Pisces rising, 12 out of 12 here. We have the Three of Wands, and this is called the Lord of Virtue, and it's about setting an example and like leading from integrity. So in a way, with these transits, it's kind of like no shit. Like you're having to lead yourself with integrity. There's the karma slap in the face is coming if you fuck up in some ways. Like if you, if you kill a fly, you're gonna stub your toe. Like little things like that, where you know you gotta stick to the path, you know you have to hold yourself accountable, and now you're gonna be, you're gonna be compassionately mothering yourself, basically. The Amio astrology card that we have for Pisces Risings, conjunction, support, fusion, union, focus. So a conjunction is an alignment of two planets on top of one another. And this could mean that you need to come home to yourself. You need to align your thoughts and your actions. You gotta break the cognitive dissonance and align your beliefs with your routine. That could be a big one is that you're like becoming an activist or awakened to a lot of causes, voices for the voiceless. And you're like, I need to change my habits. And this is around Conjunction, conjoin your beliefs, your actions, your inner world, your outer world, unity, wholeness. <laughs> if you enjoyed this and you would like to dive deeper with us here at the Modern Magic Community, make sure that you check out our info down below, as well as my courses and offerings. I have my Rise Into Yourself starter course as a key to your life based on your rising sign available. So if you wanna get in on that, everything's below. Otherwise, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you are always aware of when I post new videos every single week. Leave any comments, questions, anything you want to share, and I will see you in the next one. Yeah. Yeah. You must be blinded by the lights. We came to shine here. Watch it look daytime in the night.